What's up guys? Today is our first, uh, I guess, behind the scenes look at the making of Argonaut 5. Um, that's the title of the movie. I don't know if I actually said that in the video we uploaded today. It's called Argonaut 5. Spoiler. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> we wanted to, in the first video today, kind of go through like the conception of the idea, the writing process, and how it's been different or challenging for us as opposed to other projects that we've worked on in the past. Something that we're trying to do here is um, give each of us the opportunity to um, to be the exclusive director over uh, a really big important um, like project, like uh, not one of our normal videos. So this time, the first one, Mike, is uh, taking the helm. He's kind of been doing everything. He wrote the script, he did the storyboards, and he's kind of come up with, uh, he's kind of like heading it, and we're all helping out, but Mike, it's really Mike's, you know, visual direction that we're following here, and, um, you know, maybe in a few months after this one comes out, then it'll be me or Landon uh, who are going to be able to um, have, to kind of take turns doing that, and I think it's the best thing. What happens in a lot, a lot of our videos is that we end up getting three um, different, like, takes of the of the idea of the project and we combine it into one video and a lot of times it, it can be a little disjointed and so if there's one person who you know if we ask Mike like is this how it is and he says yeah then that's how it is there's no question and I think that it's going to result in a better a better video yeah it should a more focused project in in, in that way but you know the thing about us I guess like some background on us like we got into doing YouTube a couple of years ago, but that was not like the end all. That wasn't like our end goal. We want to make feature films. And so we, we shot that Skyrim film, Into the Void, over the summer. Um, but that came together so quickly. Like, we were asked to do it, we wrote it, and filmed it, and got it done in the process of like one month time. All, everything, the entire process. And so, while that was a really great experience in working with a producer and working with actors and a crew and things like that, um, it, it, was, it, it, it was very stressful a lot of times to try and get that done. Yeah. Um, and so I think that this is kind of the first opportunity you're going to have to see, um, to see what our potential is as storytellers when we actually have the time um, and the freedom to do it exactly the way we want to do it. And so, we're very excited today to talk about the script and the story a little bit. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, as Kason was talking about, um, this was kind of all conceived for me, so it was kind of my idea. I'm going to be the one helming this project. And so I kind of had this idea in my mind about, if you've seen the, the film Moon, classic film, well I don't know if it's a classic, it should be a classic if it's not a classic. <laughs> it's a new classic. It will be a new future. classic. Modern classic. <laughs> It's a great movie, um, and I, 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 I saw that movie probably like a year or two ago, and kind of had some inspiration from watching that. I loved the sense of loneliness that the main character is experiencing. He's by himself, uh, kind of managing this, like, uh, it's not a refinery, it's like a, they harvest materials, they harvest resources from the moon. And he's by himself for a certain period of time doing this. He doesn't have anyone else besides his little computer, Gertie, that he talks to. Um, and so I kind of came up with, uh, it sounds like more of like I just stole from, but I came <laughs> up with it. Um, this idea of, of a man who's um, searching through, through space for uh, planets that are either habitable or have valuable resources. And so he goes about space kind of just scanning for these, for these resources and these planets that he can then uh, send back to the company, uh, the organization he works for, and that they can go and harvest those resources or begin colonizing those planets. And he has a virtual intelligence, which is basically the ship he's on, um, that he talks to. So some similar kind of feel in that way. He's, he's very lonely. He's talking to a computer basically the whole time. Um, and so... Without getting too much into spoiler land and, and telling you what the story is all about, we, one thing we wanted to do uh, for this particular uh, film is come up with a background, um, a world, a universe for it to exist in, where we could then do more films in the future. 
Um, and so we've, we've spent a lot of time as a group discussing um, <clears throat> what is this organization he works for? Um, what is the future like in this world that, that we're kind of creating? And so we have kind of come up with, how much should we talk about in this? Um, like, how much we, background we don't have we to go, give? We, we can go to a few more details later. If anyone has questions, they can shoot us and we, we can see if we, uh, you know. Yeah. Can because I, I'm them? really excited about the background. I think it's really cool because I think it's so completely plausible in the relatively foreseeable future, the next couple hundred years, with the way we're consuming resources on this planet and the need we're going to have for more. So it, it, it kind of, I don't know, I think it's cool. And I'd like to talk about it, but maybe we'll save that for another time. <laughs> um, but what happened was I sat down and I started writing this thing. Um, and the, by the way, the, um, the software we're using to, to write the screenplay is called Final Draft. So look into that. It's really cool because a lot of people are like, oh, I want to write a script. Maybe I want to try, you know, my hand at doing that, but I don't know the formatting. Like, I don't know. There's kind of a lot of really stupid details you have to keep in mind when writing a script. But uh, Final Draft does it all for you. Like, it's as easy as pressing enter, saying, I want this to be this character dialogue. And it, it kind of brings up a little, like, window with options for, like, what, what is this? Is this a description of the scene? Is this a heading? Is this a transition? Is this a character? And so you just press enter, you, like, go down and click on one of the things. And it's, like, so easy. It, and it's unbelievable to write a script, and it's all formatted for you. But I wrote, I wrote the script, and I brought it to Landon and Casey when it was finished, and we talked about pacing. And that's one thing I struggle with, because I'm very detail-oriented. So in my writing, I like to go into like extreme details about little things. I find them very fascinating, and I think a lot of people find them boring. So I think, what was the first draft? It might have been like... It wasn't c completely finished yet, no. but it was already on pace to be... Yeah. Very long. Very long. I don't know. <laughs> it was on pace to be something closer to like 40 or 45 minutes long. Um, and, there, and it's filled with dialogue. Um, almost <coughs> the entire film. There's going to be a really cool action sequence in it. But for the most part, it's being carried by dialogue between this main character and his, his computer, his virtual intelligence that he's talking to. And so, um, not sure how it's going to be an interesting experiment to see how long we can keep people engaged on YouTube because that's where we'll be releasing this. We are going to try and hopefully get it on Netflix. I don't know what the process is for doing that. We're looking into it. But we need to keep people engaged and keep them excited about it. And so Lannon came up with this idea and it was really great like Okay, we have a really cool, like, twist we're going to throw into the story towards the end. But it doesn't come until two-thirds of the way through the, through the story. We need to at least have something in the beginning that foreshadows what that's going to be. So that people know something interesting, really crazy, is going to come. And so that's kind of, that was kind of the process for writing it. Um, it it's really good as a writer to have... I'm very lucky because I've been working with Landon and Kaysen since I was really young on movies. And so we think alike. We have worked together on a lot of stuff. And, and just, I guess, as advice to writers out there, send your stuff to people. Like, have everyone who you trust to read it and give you good feedback read it. Um, because, like Landon was saying, the original version of the script was on pace to be 45 minutes long, and it was just full of dialogue. And now we have probably two or three really cool sequences that are like almost flashbacks or dream sequences that foreshadow action and that will hopefully make the, the pacing of the film better. But um, anyways, that's the idea and that's what we're working on. Um, if you have questions about the story, I don't know how much you want to talk about because I think it's really cool. I'm like super, super excited about it. I think it's really original in some ways. In other ways, it's very derivative. But anyways, uh, what do you guys think we should talk about about this movie? I don't know. I think we've pretty much covered enough for this uh, little segment here. 
Yeah. We're going to be doing these weekly, so... <laughs> yeah. In terms of writing and story, that's, that's pretty much what we have going on. If you have questions, we'll try to answer them. By the way, by the way, new comment section on YouTube. I know how much it sucks, right? Some of you guys ask questions, and I can't answer you because you have your privacy settings in your Google Plus set up to where I can't reply to what you ask. Like, there's no option to reply underneath your comment. So if you have a question and you ask it, make sure that your settings are set up in such a way to where I can actually reply to you. And I'll try and give you some more details on story if you have questions. Um, but look, next week we're going to talk about storyboarding and some more pre-production stuff. Uh, we ordered lights that we're going to be using. Uh, we're going to be doing some pretty cool light setups on this thing um, that we've never tried before to make it futuristic and sci-fi and cool. Um, and we'll talk about storyboarding and how important that is and how bad we are at it. Alright, thanks for watching. Ask questions. Peace!